there we go. There's a nice one to start the day. Tell you what, folks, today on Midwest Outdoors, we're out on Big Stone Lake. We're just up the lake right now from uh, Ortonville and Big Stone City. We're joined on the show by Artie Arndt today. Also joining us is Scott Meyer. Cold and nasty day outside there. We're actually nice and warm though inside the house. Gonna catch some fish, have a good time, and uh, show you everything the area has to offer. Let's catch some more. We're gonna throw that one in the bucket. Go. Got one, huh? Yeah. So already out here on the border, basically, uh, are the perch limits any different than uh, Minnesota? Yeah, Greg, on the border water here on Big Stone, um, the South Dakota DNR and the Minnesota DNR get together and it's got its own regulations yep. out here. And uh, the perch limit on Big Stone is 15 per person and 30 in possession. That's with uh, Minnesota or South Dakota license, right? Yeah, that's the cool part too, is uh, it, with it being a border water, there's a mutual agreement. You can fish anywhere on the lake, access it at any point on the lake with a Minnesota or South Dakota fishing license. But you're seeing people from, what, all over the upper Midwest coming, don't you? <clears throat> we are, you know, the uh, especially down that Iowa, Nebraska uh, area, they love coming up here. You know, it's just a short two, three hour drive from the south. You know, with this kind of perch action, it's a lot of fun. I really like the gold perch, Greg. Uh, out in Big Stone, gold is a hot color. Gold perch, today I'm using a gold perch spoon. Um, I like the treble hook on there as well. And uh, staying small is part of the key out here to catching more fish with the perch. Uh, especially if it's a little bit of a finicky bite, the smaller the bait, the better you're gonna be. Do you think the Euro larvae or the spikes, they're actually a little better maybe than wax worms out here? I like the spikes a little bit better, Greg, because they're a little smaller uh, and they seem to stay on the hook a little bit better. Oh, Ooh, that one stretched <laughs> it, huh? Maybe a little bit bigger yeah. fish here, it's coming. Oh, that's a big, big fish. Oh, there you go, <laughs> Artie. <laughs> that is a monster right there. Yeah, that's a pretty good one here for Big Stone. You know, it's uh, Big Stone's known for jumbo perch, and uh, you know, this is a good showcase of fish, Greg, yep. and, and we do have a lot of nice year classes coming on these perch, so um, definitely looking forward to the years to come. Action for years to come, no doubt about it. That's a beauty. How many year classes you figure in here? I mean, you guys are fishing oh. them every day, Artie. Yeah, we're seeing all different sizes here. You know, there's just, I don't know, there's, there's a good three year classes coming here. I mean, you can see we're getting a lot of these seven, eight inches, but we get the jumbles mixed right in with them. Yep, they'll mix the schools mixed together a lot of times in. They do, yep, they do. Every once in a while, you'll get into a school of just the bigger ones, you know, but uh, most, for the most part, you see them mixed in. Big Stone being such a shallow lake, we sight fish them a lot. So yep. you can actually look down the hole and when you see the little one coming there, you pull it away and you try to catch the big one. <laughs> <laughs> you got any tricks for drawing fish in from a distance out here? Yeah, when I wanna get some, if I've been a little bit slow and I'm looking to draw some fish in, one of the little secrets we got that we do out here is we, uh, we go to the rip and wrap and uh, it's got a little vibration in there. It's a bigger uh, bait fish spoon and I'll drop that down and work it and the rattle and even bouncing that off the bottom is gonna bring those fish in real curious and bring them right into the hole. A lot of times then we'll reel that up quick and go back to the small bait to make the catch. I tell you what, being inside of a nice warm house like this, catching fish, oh yeah, you know what? So how many houses do you have out on the lake? Uh, we rent uh, 11 fish houses, Greg, we've okay. got uh, nine ice castle sleepers and two day houses. Yeah. And uh, you know, for people, if you, you want the experience of uh, sleeping in an ice castle on the lake, the comforts are kind of exciting. If, uh, oh, you, yeah. if you're not looking to sleep on the lake, we've got some great lodging options available as well in the uh, Ortonville and Big Stone Lake area. Sure, and access to the lake is, is pretty easy. You guys are running a road, right? Yep, we've got plowed roads out here on the lake, several accesses on Big Stone Lake, so getting out and back isn't too bad at all out here. Oh yeah. It's fun chasing these fish down. If I can get them off the hook, I'd get another one. Oh, that one's all right. <laughs> He's <laughs> kicking it hard there, yep. Yeah. Let's get him off. put up a good little battle, Yeah, no, yeah. I thought I would have swore that was going to be a walleye. You made a little excitement out of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, that looks good. Well, I tell you what, if you could uh, smell what this ice house smells like right now, you'd love to be in here. And that's uh, one of the great things with the rental. You can bring everything you need, cook when you're out here, cook some fish. But when you're in an area like this, you know, Big Stone City, Ortonville, they got some great places to eat. Uh, bar and grills out there where you go have a burger and a drink, uh, supper club where you could go have a full uh, meal at the end of the day. Plus there's some great home cooking for breakfast in the area. You know, anytime you're in a small community like this, you want to go out and enjoy the hospitality. The other thing is, you know, when you 
eat when you're fishing, that makes the fish bite. There he is. Got him. Feels like he's bending it a bit. That is a good feeling. There you go. Nice perch. I tell you what, folks, it is a good time coming out to catch these perch. A lot of action. Great for the family, great for friends. Artie, if people want to come on out, how do they get more information on it? To plan your next trip to Big Stone Lake, go to www.bigstonelake.com or look us up on Facebook. Well, I tell you what, it's a great time catching them, great table fare. For Scott Meyer, Artie Arndt, I'm Greg Jones, Midwest Outdoors will be right back. Big Stone Lake on the Minnesota-South Dakota border has a booming jumbo perch population that has turned into one of the Midwest's top winter perch fishing destinations. Come for the perch, but don't forget the lake's numerous walleyes, big bluegills, and slab crappies. In addition to the fishing, the area offers a top bait shop, fish house rentals, great lodging, and fine dining as well. Come to Big Stone for a winter fishing trip, and you'll like the area so much that you might just decide to make it your next home, or at least your home away from home. 